Hey guys, this is Shuman from ASA Technical. Today I am going to show you how to restore missing dual boot menu. Don't sync the operating system menu on your dual boot computer screen and does not work necessarily boot configuration data repair command to rebuild your boot.ini file. Then this video is for you. Basically, the problem may occur if you installed multiple Windows version on the same PC. Your dual boot configuration may stop working. The most common cause for a dual boot or multi boot configuration error is when you reinstall the older Windows version before the newer Windows version and when an operating system's boot mode is changed on a dual boot PC then another operating system can be automatically unlisted from the boot menu such as happened in my case. Whatever, we have to fix the issue. By following this instruction in this video you can easily get the solution of this problem. Well, let's get started. At first let me show you from Windows Explorer. Alright, in my PC has two operating systems. C drive is the Windows 10 system folder and G drive is the Windows 7 system folder. Now let me show you boot option from system configuration. Yeah, here shows only one listed operating system is Windows 10 in the boot menu and not showing any entry of the Windows 7 as you can see. And Windows boot managers boot list is not showing entry of the Windows 7. Alright, to fix the problem you need to download EasyBCD by googling. Just download it from here. I have already downloaded so I am not downloading it anymore. Alright, now I am just installed it. Next click on finish and then open it, as you can see. Alright, next select add new entry option. Next select the drive where the operating system is installed. Alright, I just select the drive G where the Windows 7 is installed. Then type an OS name or which you want. I am just typing here Windows 7 Ultimate. Next click on add entry as you can see. Alright, here shows the message Windows 7 Ultimate added to the boot menu successfully. Next go to edit boot menu option. Alright, here shows the entry of the Windows 7 Ultimate. Alright, from here you can set your countdown or you can leave it default. Next check the box if you want metro bootloader or you can leave it. Next click on safe settings that's it. Alright here shows the message bootloader settings safe successfully as you can see. Now let's check windows 7 is working properly or not. Alright now I am going to restart my PC. Yes, as you can see, the boot list shows both operating systems, Windows 10 Pro and Windows 7 Ultimate.
yeah it's working properly we hope you will like of course let us know your opinion if you have any questions then please let us know please like comment share we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you thanks for watching have a nice day